Hello, welcome to another beer review with your host Jonathan Brown. Uh, sun's coming out. It's looking a bit more better now, and we're going to York. Well, we're staying in Yorkshire again for this one. We got a canned beer from um, Northern Monk Brewery, who are based in Leeds. Um, I've only had one other beer of theirs, I reviewed it a few weeks ago, really enjoyed it. This is an IPA and I'm expecting I'm going to love it. I do like my IPAs. And this one was bought from Marks & Spencer. If anybody out there who've not seen the beer selection in a major m and I um, highly recommend you to go down there and look at it because it's very, very impressive. So the beer is in the can, and it's Northern Monk New World IPA. There you go, boys and girls. Lovely jubbly. Indian Pale Ale coming at 6.2% ABV. There's the back side. I shall pause it there for a minute. And there you go, and there's another little bit of information. I will pause that there for a minute. So there you go. So this is a 330ml can, um, cans again a lot more common now in supermarkets, I think, um, you know, I'm a big, you know, I, you know, I like cans, um, you know, it's, it's nice, you know, you can easy pick them up, fit them in, you know, with your shopping and that, and you know, feel like you haven't bought any beers, <laughs> so I tend to anyway, so I'm going to crack the ring, like we do. I've got a feeling it's going to be very hoppy. Mmm, fruity. Fruity, fruity, fruity. Lemongrass, definitely there. Juicy peach. Juicy pear. Real hot, it smells like a hot bomb, you know, a real hot up IPA. So let's uh, pour in like we do. And there she goes, looking rather rosy. There she is. I think there's a little bit of scent. This is a bit, it looks, it looks a bit murky, but. That isn't a bad thing. At the end of the day, it's how it tastes. Um, as I said in my Schneider Vice reviews, they don't look pretty, but my word, they don't half taste nice. And I've got a feeling this could be one of them beers. It's a little bit of carbonation going off there. It's quite cloudy. Um, I would say it's like a caramel, caramel brown looking colour. All them juicy fruit notes slightly subsided. You do get the essence of hops, um, the real lemons and no, no, nah, no. Nah, nah, go back on that. Not as much lemons. I would say peaches and pineapples and apricots and. There is a grassness there as well. I've got a feeling I'm going to like this. I have this feeling, so I'm going to go in. So I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. That's lovely. It says New World IPA. Now, I don't know. I'm just seeing what hops are in this core on the back end you get a real real kind of like um, grassy pine grass type of finish to it it's really nice I do like that piney grassy um, on the back end I do like that real hotness it's got 60 IBUs this it says um, naturally hazy, um, New World IPA, and I'm expecting New World IPA is will that have 
something like um, when I have something like you know hops them down under I would say it would have um, don't know what hops they are though because it doesn't say I'd love to know I'm trying to think of um, because every, every, all the New World beers I've had before got Galaxy in. Um, well, I'd like to know what's in this. Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> Let's get back to the beer. This is wonderful. Um, so full of flavour. Beautiful. There's a pineapple. Tangerine, lychee maybe, I think him the lychee, or is it bugger, um, it's not that bitter, it's not that bitter at all, it's very well balanced actually, the bitters, bitterness is there but I love a beer which is balanced all the way through, we're I mean, getting all these wonderful Hoppy notes, fruity notes even. You get that bit in this. Nice grass, you know, grassy pine grass. Finish, pine finish at the back end. I love beers like that and this is wonderful, this. Um, it's, it's just so well balanced. Um, the mouthfeel. Smooth. You do get the essence of the carbonation. It's not strong on the tongue. Very, very drinkable. Um, 6.2%. Do I get the essence of strength from this beer? Not really. Um, some of these big hot bombs, you know, American IPAs, you know, with their 6%, they really let you know that it's 6%. This doesn't for me. Um, it's, it just feels like a very flavoursome beer, um, a beer which is very re rewarding um, once you get into it. It's lovely fruitiness, it's not harsh, it's full of flavour, it's something that I highly recommend. You know, I'm a bit. <laughs> if I'm not really saying much, I'm just really, really enjoying the moment of this one. Um, it's, so, it's so, so nice. It's, it's so well balanced. Nice fruity notes. It's just lovely, and I keep repeating myself. I'm eight minutes in again. You know, sometimes when I get around to do a load of beer reviews, I'm in the mood to waffle, and I've been waffling on. Um, with this one, I really have, and and, and why not? It's it's wonderful. Um, pick this one up from M and S, um, Northern Monk, Indian Powell, New World IPA. It's a wonderful, wonderful IPA. It really is. Um, if you want to visit the brewery and tap room, it's Northern Monk Brew Company, the Old Flat Store, Marshalls Mills, Holbeck Leeds. LS 11.9YJ. Um, it's not giving me, it's just saying barley hops and yeast. I don't think I want to give the game away. I don't blame them because <coughs> that's wonderful. So, boys and girls, highly recommend that one. Get hold of it. Get down to MS. Go down to MS. Well, you know, where you have asked, you know, shopping for gruts or whatever. Thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe. I really do appreciate my subscribers. And um, I'll see you again on my next one. So cheers.